There's no turning back now. We're deserters, for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Or worse. I didn't mean for it to come to this. The vows I took here. I meant them. And someday I'll come back to one of them. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. He's gonna see what happens when you harm a member of my family. And mine. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? She'll never marry you, Griff. She'll do what she's told. Just as you did, Roderick. And so will he, when I'm through with him. My hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility! Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. 
Then you'll see who's the man, and who's the cripple. Go ahead! Come at me, Griff! My fucking pleasure! God fucking... You're dead, Roderick! I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the... What are you waiting for? Kill anyone that moves! You heard him! Stop down! You can't do this! Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. You flay you, and your sister, and your own fucking family! I did warn you, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone... <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This crap! Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? You need to stop! My eye! Roderick! I can't... I can't fucking see. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. I can't see. I can't see anything. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the ravens. All of them. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of shipbrain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells? I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher! You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? When are they swinging a fucking... Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck or this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? Ugh. I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mr. anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> <gasps> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <gasps> <gasps> Uh, your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. Come on, Asha. 
Hit me. Uh, oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. So what? You're gonna kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city. I was a slave here in this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um. I'm, I'm so sorry, Veska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezo Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. <laughs> <laughs>